Good morning. Oh, geez, why do I keep doing that? It's not even morning. It is, it's evening. <laughs> not even, I'm not even going to go there. And I put my cards away as if I was done for the night. Silly, silly Courtney. Silly, 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 silly me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's cut the deck and find out. We're going to do fire. Fire, fire, fire. I said fire. Okay. Is this all the cards I need? Oh my other decks over here. So this is gonna be the first half of March, sorry, 2020. Um, I don't know what went down with you in January, besides cheers to a new beginning, right? But I almost wanted to say January. So because it's Mercury. There's a good chance you could be dealing with something that didn't get dealt with in the month of January. Hold on, I'm just looking for something. Look at my freaking mind. All right. <sighs> Let's start with Aries. Aries. I almost want to do Sag. I don't know if you're dealing with the Saggy, but Aries. That's oh, way too many. Aries. I just fed the kids, so it should be quiet. <laughs> it should be quiet. I just fed them. <clears throat> Aries. Hi. Are you with me? Hello. Hello. Well, hello, adversity. So you got a challenge for sure. I accept challenges in the best way. It's the best way to learn. So there's there's a learning curve. You're definitely in a challenge. <clears throat> you can either face it or avoid it. It's a lesson card. <clears throat> Trust and guilt. Cancer for sure had that. I think Pisces had that, but regardless, right? This is accepting your inner voice. To me, it's, it's like intuition, okay? This guilt, you know, for Pisces, the Ten of Wands came on it. Tell me about this guilt for Aries, which talked about pressure. <clears throat> Tell me about this guilt. Maybe it's guilt to move forward, guilt to get through whatever this is. You know, you have guilt when it comes to communication. There's definitely something here, okay? She's a wicked communicator. She's a wicked communicator. So you got something going on there, okay? Well, reconciliation really wanted to pop out there. So <laughs> make an effort really wanted to pop out there. So you definitely have a challenge in front of you. But my Aries love to be challenged. So Aries. Goose, are you really whining? Yeah, mama, it's, it's real life. I'm really whining. <clears throat> That's too many. Aries, Aries. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Healing family issues. Whoa. Unrequited love. So, okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Express your love. Calling in your soulmate. Okay. Got release your ex at the bottom of the deck. I gotta let Lucy downstairs before she drives me. Ape shit. <clears throat> All right, my little rams. All right, my little 
Oh, we have skis. Let's see the deal skis. So, there's definitely something here that has to do from childhood, okay? I'm not really going there. I don't really see, if I see there's a need where you're going through, um, I don't think it's, I don't think it's past life. If I feel like, if, if I see it, I don't, I actually don't even want to say it out loud. If I see it, I'll call it up, okay? Um, not enough love for yourself, some type of situation. I don't know what this guilt's regarding. It might be communication, but... I just looked to my right and I thought I saw a candle, a flame flickering, so I don't know what that's forgotten. I don't feel like there's past life regression here, okay? Maybe for some, but not too many. This is you just trying to heal a situation. But here's the deal. There's something interfering, because this has to do with forgiving your, your parents, the way you were raised, family conditioning. You, you might not have felt the love. So I don't know if that's what's going on in your head right now. Like, maybe you made somebody feel how someone used to make you feel. That's what that guilt is. You know, it's, it's something like that. So Aries, you know, forgive your parents if you can. Whoever raised you, if need be. Um, I don't have self-worth for a situation. It could be dealing with earth. It's funny because all my, um, I did water. It was a really strong earth in one of them. I don't remember. So it's like you want a new start, a fresh start doing something. You're either thinking about a prince of pence or you're coming in as the prince of pence. Aries don't usually come in as pentacles. So I don't know what's going on there. Or it's like this has to do with your child. Still on me for a loop. Or this Princess of Pentacles is, is challenging. Challenging you. Oh man, there's a lot there. <clears throat> Definitely have to do something with your mother too. A mother, a child. I don't know. There could have been a third party. I don't want to take all three of these, but... Let me just get some cards out real quick. So it looks like you have a new opportunity to have a new start. Or someone offered you, that's way too many, a new opportunity, vice versa. It looks like work for some of you. I'm not really sure what to do. You know what to do. I don't know if I feel like an outcast. Dang, everyone's coming in a tournament. They're right in the same vicinity, too. So you're really considering whatever this is, okay? Needing the strength to approach it, go towards it. You need to talk to somebody about something. You know, you definitely need to express yourself. Your prayers, affirmations, visions... You know, um, so stay positive because that affects certain outcomes. Dang, everybody had that. Everybody clap your hands. I, I, I want to say almost everyone had the hermit too. At least two of my water signs had the hermit. So you got a new opportunity with love too. Get one more for my Aries March, first half of March 2020. So if you ask me, whoa, whoa, 
can't whoa. Damn, it's like every time I go to this corner with the family healing, I don't know if it's linked to current or just past energy. Like, I just feel like, can you give what you, what, it's like, you know what you want, but can you give it? It's like, you know you can. I don't think you're questioning your capability here. That's why I think it's like, what is this? I think you have enough love, you know, you, you got self-love. You're ready. You're calling someone in right here. You're clear as day ready to open up your heart chakra, to fall in love, to make something happen. There's no doubt. There's no question right here. There is some type of energy that needs to be cleared, though. It's clear as day. It's either an ex or it's your, it's your past or it's linked to family. It's clear as day. This is more like an of an offer. Like she's your challenge. Or this new start or work. It, it's like your challenge. Do you want to put in the time? Do you want to put in the effort? Obviously, you've been hurt. You've been in situations where stuff wasn't reciprocated. But it's like the universe saying, go ahead and chat, yap about it, have the strength, balance out the scales, make something right. Tell me about this princess of pence. <clears throat> Very much. Five of cups. You're sad, she's sh sad, you're thinking about the past. Damn. Oh, my goodness. Again, it could be linked to family. <clears throat> it's definitely the past thing. I don't know if somebody wants to come back into your life. Well, you want somebody in your life and you need to, like, my goodness. Tell me about this five of cups real quick, please. Where's this five of cups? It's almost like this is why... <clears throat> It's like, this is why you feel guilty. Like, there's something here that's linked to family or an ex. And you got judgment. So you want someone to forgive you. Or you want someone's forgiveness. But you got the five of wands. So it's like, you got tricky ass energy right now. You're hoping there's a feminine that's going to forgive you. It's clear as that. But your thoughts right now are not great. You're in the five of cups. You're, you're reminiscing past memories, pain. You're not focused on what you should be focused on. And that's new opportunities. So it's almost like she, it's almost like she you want to give her an opportunity or she already offered you an opportunity. And it's like you're in, you're in hermit mode. So it's like you either shut it down or you didn't respond. Because of this five of cups, because you're still stuck in the past energy. You got this connection right here, but you're focused on this. You're focused on pain, hurt. So it's like my Aries want, want some type of feminine energy to forgive them. And it's ironic, you should actually watch Cancer, because Cancer had this first card out where there was a masculine Oh, actually, the masculine needed to make a move. That wasn't it. That wasn't cancer. Cancer was something about someone wanting forgiveness. And they had an Aries on the board. Okay. But that's it's kind of irrelevant. Well, all propensities, right? But you want this female to forgive you. And right now, it's a massive challenge for you. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you must, uh, 
Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Some, yeah. See, you and the Emperor reverse. So you're a little frustrated. You shut, you shut down a new stat. My Aries had an opportunity to have a new stat, but there wasn't enough self worth. You didn't have enough self worth. Self something, because you shut it down. Tell me about the hammer. <clears throat> or you're about to. Or maybe you haven't shut anything down yet and you're about to. Damn, 10, 10, 10. No, see, it's it's not even that. This is this is exactly what was coming in in three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're holding on to pain from the past. Okay. But the hermit always climbs the mountain, uses their inner wisdom, only wants something raw, pure, true. Something that just vibes with their soul, which is fulfillment, right? So you shut this new offer down because you're, you're searching for fulfillment. But the thing is, it's like the universe is saying trust, have strength, balance out the scales. There's an opportunity for love. There's quite a connection you have with someone. You, you've been waiting. To me, you need to talk to somebody, whoever you shut down, because you want this feminine to forgive you. But I'm not going to say when's the right time. But I know you need to get out of this Five of Cups energy. Because you, you, you shut it down anyway. You want the Ten of Cups. Tell me about strength. But you're still, you're still kind of hurt about something. For sure. Tell me about strength. This is strength to have a conversation. To talk about things to express yourself so there's somebody here you, it's, it's so clear there's there's no way you don't know who this is I'm referencing I don't know where that guilt comes from it's a cups so once again you, you're with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck you have mentally you have not escaped this energy yet because you know it's here So it's like have the strength to to talk. Okay. And I meant to do justice, but I said express your love. So yeah, you you know. You're definitely taking your time with this, mulling it over. You're definitely attracted to someone. You're inspired. This is creative energy. Um go get it energy. So Tell me about justice. You could actually be dealing with a cancer because cancer was coming in as justice. Cancer wasn't even coming in as cancer. Cancer was coming in as Libra. Right? But, and they have forgiveness right there too. So, I suggest you definitely watch Libra as well. And Virgo. And Aries, if you Aries. Because that's the most prominent energy in almost every read. The Hermit and Libra. Virgo and Libra have been out. Libra was all over Cancer. Virgo was, man, all over all of them. So with this justice, it's Nine of Wands. It's, it's fighting for something. It's not giving up. Going after what you want. You've been through a lot. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> So you got the Ace of Cups twice. So it's like opportunity is there again. Seven of Cups. So you're a little confused. That strength again at the bottom of the deck. So it's either that or options. Like you have options. You're keeping your options open. So I don't know if you're dating. I mean, you're definitely a little confused. But I think you're going to come out of it. My computer is overheating. I hope you can hear me okay. It's fully charged. I don't... There's no reason to overheat right now, but... <clears throat> Tell me about the two of cups. 
So, you know, you won't accept anything less except for true love, right? You're, you're hermit mode. It's all the hermit wants sitting on the Ten of Cups. Someone else had that same exact energy to the Virgo Scorps. Okay, so you see the opportunity. So, and then the Queen of Cups. That's someone who loves someone who's extremely passionate. Where's the heart on this leaf? So you could be thinking about a cancer. Well, you got a strong cancer placement in your chart, but it looks like it's saying there's a there's a cancer. But it could be any zodiac, guys. It's it's just representing that there is a woman that has this type of love, the type of love you're looking for, that type of situation ship. Trust it. I think like there's with this guilt, I it's it's linked. This is linked over here. Whatever this is. I don't know if you just let go of somebody and you're going after a new opportunity or she herself is is your challenge. Tell me about this princess of pens real quick. Yeah, you're, you're confused. Or, or you both are. Now you got the seven of cups twice. But to me, you're just confused about this challenge. something going on at work but I don't see it being that big of a deal you know it usually speaks a wish for milk uh, wish fulfillment or dreams it's like illusionary energy you're definitely it's like fantasy you're fantasizing but it's like you want to heal a situation or this is just being guided or this is a reconciliation so but we already knew you passed down an opportunity she offered. So, I mean, there is a beautiful, I just said your best advice for the Two of Cups. And it's the Eight of Wands with the Princess of Cups right there. Again, I don't know if you, if you need to forgive them, you want a second chance, vice versa. <clears throat> dreaming of this person which might be even a little more confusing for you well opportunities here if you want to take it I'm going to get the best advice for the Seven of Cups. I'm going to get the best advice for the duplicates. Yeah, see, this is you. Like It's, it's like schizophrenia. You, you're losing your mind. It, it's, you don't know what to do. You need to balance out your masculine and feminine energy. Meditation can help. Grounding. Exercise. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Oh, I wanted your best advice, but I'm just trying to, I'm just, hold on, let me get the duplicates real quick. So you, you're definitely losing your minds when it comes to whatever this is. And the Ace of Cups is, is challenge. I mean, is, is courage, going after it. So that's, you know what to do. You know it's here. And that song keeps coming to me and I didn't sing it. You know what to do. What's that? Hey, y'all. I think it's hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Um. so you know which you did have strength twice and I was going to go for that one next but that, that sums up strength
I did see judgment twice. Hold on. Yeah, there's definitely, there's like a, a friend, a strong connection, a, a bond, soulmate type situation. So this, there's a feminine that should challenge right now. She remind you of someone, something, you know, she's something here. This right here is the guilt. Whatever that is. I don't know if you're leaving someone to have something new. I, I don't see any of that. I, I see one energy. Making something right. But this is a big deal when this comes out. Your love life will benefit for those you forgive. So like something went down in your past. I don't know if you're still thinking about it. Past pain, past relationships. Things that went down as you were a child when you were growing up. But it's like no need. You know. Um, I don't know if she triggered something. But it's like this has to do with your love life. Clearly. Right? It's quite a challenge for you right now. And, like, at this, I need to release my beliefs that no longer assist me in my soul's growth. So this could even be religion, culture, you know, like something somebody said to you that stuck with you, conditioning, you know, let it go. It's that type of energy. Okay. Let me see. Does it look like kind of like communication with guilt? But let me see what this deck says. Maybe it can help you. Receptivity. So it, it's just being receptive. So you're not being receptive to the situation. Well, you are and you're not because it's like you're driving yourself nuts. It's like kind of like you're shutting it down. But it's like it's kind of unavoidable. It's, it's here. It's a challenge. It's not going anywhere until you face it. That's what it looks like to me. But it looks great. Got a beautiful bond with someone. Communication's coming. You know what to do. Alright. I love you. Have a great rest of your day. What's up, buttercup?